Welcome to part 5 of the DA50RG aircraft design. We are going to do the last part of the detailing of the nose. Uh, for reference, we are creating this profile right here. We are going to create some wireframes to use. So go back to shading with edges once again. And we're also going to show an intersection that we created earlier. I believe it was intersect to intersect to yes this one or if you can't find it you can just create another intersect using the plane that we created when we are creating this first profile here anyways we want to create a point here almost to the edge of this geometry so select point on curve and i'm going to place it about let me zoom in right about here. Select OK. And we're going to use that point to create a line on this geometry. So select line. This is going to be our point. We want our line type to be point and direction. And the direction is the X component. And you want to drag this almost to the edge before you select support is our geometry here and select OK. Now go to side view. We're going to drop some lines to define our bottom profile. So select line and now we can use this vertices. Select this end point and direction is the Z component. Reverse the direction. Uh, the distance is going to be 150. Okay, back to side view again. We can use this newly created vertex right here. Select line again. And this point. Direction again is the Z component. Reverse the direction and the distance is going to be 150 as well. Lastly, you might want to create a third point right here. Because we're going to use plane and we need uh, more than two points. So select a point on curve. You just need to cl click on this curve and then it's just going to convert. Make sure this, uh, this part here is green. If you lock it like this, you cannot be able to automatically switch. But if you leave it uh, green, then you can be able to automatically change the type. And then uh, select a point almost in the middle right there. I'm going to move it right here and select OK. Then drop another line from that point. The component is the Z component. Reverse the direction. We're going to reduce the distance to about 100 or 110. We can edit it later when we are checking our profile. All right, let's create another line from this end. Select line, point and direction as type again. Select this point and then the direction is the Y component. And we want it going up to the middle part, which is the ZX plane. So you're going to select start from zero and end point. It is up to the ZX plane and select OK. So you see that line. Then create a 3D corner. It is again from the wireframe menu. Select these two components. And the radius select 50. The corner type is 3D corner and select OK. Make sure you have trimmed both the elements. That trim both elements were both uh, selected. Now we want to create our bottom profile. But as you can see, we have now eliminated the corner. So we need to create another point between these two points. Select point. Point type is between. Then point one is this. Point two. But as you can see, it's creating a geometry that is not on the, on the curve. So for support here, you're going to select this corner. And we have created our point right there. 
make sure the ratio is 0 0.5 so here it is 0 0.5 so it is in the middle or alternatively you can click middle point and select ok right now we can create our bottom profile select line and we're going to pick this is our first point and this is our second point just as easy as that and then next we're going to create a spline start here so that you can enter tangency make sure it is facing this direction we are moving up then select the second point and the third point select ok now go to side view and now you can edit this distance to uh, adjust this curve to look more um to look better so select this line and we can extend it down we can extend it up and down to fit our profile i'm going to leave it at that point and select ok now we can hide these two lines The next thing we're going to do is to split this intersect too. We want to remain with a curve from the center up to this point. So I'm going to select split intersect two. The first cutting element is the ZX plane in the middle. And then the next part and make sure the, the, the highlighted part is on this side so you don't get an error. The next uh, cutting element is this point. And just select OK. So now we have this curve right here, right? And then we're going to join spline in the line. Preview for continuity. Select OK. You can go to tools and hide all the points now. And then we are going to mirror this uh, use, with the reference to the ZX plane to complete our profile. So select from the operation menu symmetry and you just want to select uh, multi-select all these elements and then the reference is the zx plane in fact you want to select from this axis system because it's the one that we used for splitting now we have this profile but we need to connect these two curves and these two curves because we are going to use them for multi-section surface. So join these two curves, preview for continuity, and then once again join these two curves, preview, ensure they are continuous, and select OK. Alright, now all we need to do is to go to surfaces, select multi-section surfaces. Then select the two join curves that we just selected. Make sure uh, the tangency direction is in the same side. And then all these other uh, curves are going to be our guide curves. So first, two, three, and four. And select OK. Then we have a gap here that we are going to create. So select line from this endpoint sorry line point to point select this first point and this is the second point okay again surface menu select fill the new line and the join curve preview select okay now we have a complete profile we can go back to shading with material and then tools hide all curves now join these two surfaces, the fill and the multi-section surface preview. You should only have a boundary at the top where we are uh, meeting the, the older geometry and select OK. Now, if you want to split this geometry using this profile, you can see that it is not connecting all the way. It's not intersecting all the way. Only some parts are intersecting. So uh, what you need to do, you can extrapolate the boundary at the top so go to operation menu select boundary leave it at uh, oh yeah select this element and you're going to see this boundary and select ok and then again from the operation menu select extrapolate 
and then you're going to select the boundary that you just created and drag it upwards in the in the z direction or in the normal direction select okay and now you have just created one uh, one geometry it just adds up to one geometry if you select int uh, extra pole you're going to realize this uh, just one geometry now you can split join it using the extra pole preview and select ok and then once again split the extra pole using split 16 preview and select ok you can hide the boundary now and as you can see now we have one continuous geometry all we need to do is join it so select join select the two splits preview once again you can see we only have uh, openings at the front and the and at the back now you're going to split this using using the zx plane so that we can have this element mirrored in the other direction select ok and select symmetry from the operation menu again and mirror this in the zx plane because we only created elements in one direct in one side on one side we only created elements on one side so now you want it on both sides select ok join the two preview again you can see it's still continuous select ok we need to fill this space so create a boundary here and from the surface menu select fill fill this boundary select ok hide the boundary now we can join all these surfaces in one and have one complete uh, nose profile so join join 18 and this field 7 preview okay and now we can apply material to our nose this icon right here which states apply material you can go to painting and select any painting of your choice and then select join apply and okay tools hide access systems and as you can see now we have detailed our nose section and we can continue with the rest of the aircraft so now at this point we have created the nose and the wing which you can show here this is our wing and this is our nose so we, we need to continue with the rest of the body in our next episode Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you get notified when we post a new episode. I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Leave your uh, comments down below. Let me know what you would like uh, to see me doing. If you need more explanations, let me know. Uh, so see you in the next part.